Welcome to Sleepy Hollow State Park. Sleepy Hollow State Park is in mid-Michigan. It's located near the town of Langsburg. It's about 30 minutes from Lansing. So about half an hour's drive from the state capitol and you have a lot of acreage and a lot of things to do outside. This park has everything that you could want. It's got a beach, it's got hiking trails, it's got equestrian trails, biking trails, a lot of different pavilions so you can have picnics, there's a campground, there's different activities all year round um, hosted by the DNR so you can do snowshoe classes or birding, uh, bird watching, all sorts of things go on here on a year round basis. Despite the fact that the sun is out, it's a bit chilly here today, but we're going to do our best to take you on a tour of the Sleepy Hollow State Park and show you what all it has to offer. It almost looks like a bit of a wasteland out here because we are so alone in this parking lot and in this park right now, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of stuff to do year round. Yeah, in the summer, this place is packed. The, the parking lot's packed, the campground's packed. It's, uh, it's got a lot to offer, so there's always people here. Now, granted, the temperature right now is maybe 10. Underneath the snow, it's mostly ice. Uh, definitely mostly ice under here. <laughs> well, maybe 10 feels more like negative 10. Yeah. It's a bit chilly. <laughs> it's a really cold day. So we probably will not be out as long as we had originally planned. Um, but you gotta, you know, you just dress for it and wear your layers. Long underwear, pair of running tights, snow pants, heavy socks, you know. Just your typical Michigan clothing choices. When it's not an Arctic freeze going on, there's a lot to do here year round. There are 11 miles of trails at Sleepy Hollow State Park, and it's available for pretty much anything. You have to look and see what trail you're on, but you can hike, you can bike, you can even bring horses out here uh, at the right time of year and make sure you're on the right trail. And many of them are multi-use. You have to be careful and think about who else might be out there and what they're doing. Um, but one of the things that's nice too is that it doesn't matter what experience level you have or if you have little kids, there's a trail pretty much for everybody. Yeah, there's a kind of a trail that encircles the campground. So if you just want to go out for a short walk, there's the option for that. Or you can head out more into the woods further back behind the lake and around uh, where if you want to go to some, do some trail running or even cross country skiing for that matter. Um, We've been out here a couple of times when I was training for my marathon last summer. We came up here a couple different weekends so I could get some experience running on the trails and just for something different to do. And so there's a little bit of everything for everybody. One nice thing about Sleepy Hollow is it's definitely a park for families. I'm not sure I'd say it's my favorite park, but it's a great park if you just want to come out for the day, go to the beach. You There's pavilions available to rent so you could do a family reunion, some kind of picnic with friends, uh, just hang out. There's fishing opportunities. There's a couple swing sets, little playground areas for the kids, uh, but it's just a really nice sort of low key park. If you're hanging out here at Sleepy Hollow, there's quite a few amenities. You've got two pavilions, you've got swing sets, you've got a dock for fishing, you've got the beach. You even have little um, charcoal grills along the beach that you can you know, cook at while you're here for the day. There's quite a few picnic tables and just plenty of grass space for the kids to run around on. Sleepy Hollow has a beach that is about an eighth of a mile long. And of course it would normally be sandy and warm and you'd see waves and water. But some people, We'll lay on the beach no matter what time of year it is. Uh, I guess you could do snow angels. In our intro video, we said you really wanted to lay on the beach at a state park. I don't know if you meant in January. I don't think I meant in January, but hey, the sun's out. You might as well get some kind of a tan. 
few years back, the state of Michigan decided to take a couple of spots near the beach and build two cabins. So they've got a nice view, at least to one side. The other side's a parking lot. And there's two different sized cabins. One of the cabins is larger and has indoor plumbing, a few more amenities. The other one's smaller, has an outhouse with it. But it's a nice little getaway if you're not into camping and you like to just get together and get some friends together and maybe hang out in a nice park and by the lake and on the beach and then have your place to stay right nearby. Even though the campground's closed, it does appear that the cabin, at least the little one, is open during the winter. I'm guessing because it doesn't have any running water utilities, um, it's able to you know, be used during the winter. Not sure about the larger one. I'll have to look that one up online uh, because it does have some indoor appliances and uh, water. If you want to come camp out here, maybe go for some hiking, biking. I do believe snowmobiles are also allowed here during the winter once a certain amount of snow has fallen. So check that out if that's something that you're interested in. Fortunately, the campground at Sleepy Hollow is closed during the winter. And I say unfortunate because this is such a great park for so many activities year round, including in the winter. So it'd be kind of nice if you had a space where you could camp here for a couple of days while you got to enjoy the all the acreage that they have here and all the great things that you can do regardless of what the season is. There are a lot of different options in campsites when you're at Sleepy Hollow. So you need to look at the map and figure out what you want and what you enjoy. So what, there are trails that go right near the campground. And in fact, right out the back of a site, in some cases there is a trail. So maybe that's handy to you and you like it. Maybe you don't like it because you're concerned about privacy or whatever. So think about that. There are campsites that are right next to the trails that lead from the camp down, down to the beach. That might be really handy for you, or you might find that annoying. So you just need to look at what the map has on it, where each of the sites is located, and what part of the features of the park the campsite is near, and maybe take advantage of it or avoid it, depending on your personal preference. I don't know exactly what site number this is, but this is the site that we stayed on this past summer. And it's hard to tell right now because there are no leaves on the trees, but this is actually a pretty secluded site when we were here. Uh, once the leaves are up and it's a lot of green and filled in, uh, it was pretty private, which was really nice. We got a campfire, a picnic table. The other thing is this site was pretty level. Most of the sites here in Sleepy Hollow are, they are paved sites. So a little bit depending on the terrain, but nothing too bad. So nothing a few levelers aren't going to fix or just moving your camper a little bit here or there. Like at most state parks in Michigan, you share a power pole with your neighbors, usually two or three other people. The one thing here at Sleepy Hollow we did notice is the power boxes are pretty far away from some of the sites, depending on how they're shared. For instance, I'm standing at the front of this site, and now this is about the back end where the back of your trailer and your electric are going to be, and now we're going to show you where the power pole actually is. It's not uncommon to share a power pole at a state park, but here at Sleepy Hollow, it's a little bit of an older system. And in fact, this is one power pole that four campsites are sharing. And it might look like there's only three boxes, but the way they've got this set up is there's two 30 amp plugs on each side. So that means you've got four 30 amp outlets going here. And then you've got another one over here that's got all the 20 amp. So this is definitely, when you are here in the summer and people are running a lot of equipment and they're all plugged into one pole like this, this is a situation you definitely wanna make sure you have your, uh, your plugs are in good shape, your cords are in good shape, you have surge suppressors either built into your unit or somewhere plugged in along the way because this is definitely a place where if it gets hot, a lot of people start turning on the air conditioners all at once, you are probably gonna see some surges or some brownouts with the power. They do have a pretty decent bathroom facility here. 
The men's and women's, you have two restrooms as well as a handicap accessible restroom. And then the shower facilities are all unisex and separate. So there are five different shower stalls that you can go into behind a door where you've got a little bench area to put all your clothing and supplies on and then the shower itself. Now I do have to say that I used the shower here last summer after one of my races and it was about as warm as Lake Michigan. I don't know if it was just because everybody was taking a shower that day because you had a lot of people here running a, a rare, uh, half marathon or if it's always that cold. But hey, at least it was clean water and we were all stinky. So it was a good way to clean up. We're standing on the dock at the Sleepy Hollow State Park boat launch. This is normally where we launch our kayaks from in the summer. It's a really nice lake for kayaking or uh, boating, but it's a no wake lake. Um, as you can see behind me, there's just a vast amount of water. There's some little islands. There's even a little channel inlet where you've got a lot of lily pads. So in the summer, this is a great place to come out on a really nice day and just tool around the lake and enjoy it. There's usually some birds and other wildlife, fish, maybe some turtles. As you can see today, instead of kayaks, there are little fishing shanties and folks are out here ice fishing. The lake is really solid, so it's good enough to go out and walk on. And I don't know if they're catching anything, but it seems to be that there's quite a few people out here, so there must be some really good fishing. One of the nice things about the boat launch at Sleepy Hollow that I've always appreciated is that it's not just a really small area where you pull in, dump your boat into the water and then you have to leave and go park somewhere much further away. There is a good sized parking lot here. So a lot of people will come in, drop their boats and then park their rigs here in the parking lot. And there's quite a bit of space for everybody to appreciate the area. We've been out this far on the lake in June and July. Uh, usually in our kayak. <laughs> <laughs> We've kayaked out to the islands that are in this lake and those are kind of cool. You could probably walk there today, it's uh, so frozen. It's frozen, clearly if the uh, folks on their fat tire bikes are any indication, it's pretty solid out there. Uh, and slippery. And the way, slippery. The way a couple of them went down, it's pretty slippery too. But uh, yeah, we're out walking on the lake right now because it's late January and freezing cold. Um, so it's a different experience, but the lake is nice, especially in the summer. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can come out here and, and enjoy the warmth in the water, do some kayaking, some boating, uh, lots of different activities. Uh, people fish out here. They do. I don't see anybody set up today, but I know they can. Oh uh, yeah, well they ice fish, but I mean in the summer. Oh, I mean people are out here fishing, fishing all the time. All time yes. I think I prefer this place in the summer now that I've been here in the winter. It's, it's kind of pretty. You just can't enjoy the view for too long. <laughs> 